What's up everybody, TaxPotion7 here, back with the Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial will be on Ree's minimap, and what this mod does is it adds a minimap to Minecraft. With this minimap, you'll be able to see where caves are, and where the mobs are in your world, and it just makes it a lot easier to get around your world. You can also set down waypoints, so you won't be able to get lost very easily if you set one down at like your home, and stuff like that. So, you can see I do have the minimap up in the top right hand corner. And what you do to uh, customize things within the minimap is you hit M, which will bring up the minimap menu. And you can see we have Ree's minimap. You can enable it or disable it. And you can change the surface type. So there's the biome, and then the caves, and then the surface. And you can have a death point. So if you click on the death point and enable it, wherever you die, it will leave a marker. So you can go back and pick up your items if you have anything that's really valuable. And then you have your mini map options, just all like the different textures and where the map position is and the size of it and the opacity, just all that good stuff. Then we have your surface map options and this one you can do different lighting types and terrain and the transparency. And then we have your entities radar, you can set it to where you have it enabled and it'll show you where the entities are on the map and if they're white that means they're above ground if they're gray that means they're below ground and you can have whatever you want enabled or disabled when it comes to the animals and then here's about the mini map and this is just um, just a little bit of the just information on the mod and who created it and all that sort of stuff and then there's an update check and it'll just check if there's an update for the mod and yeah we can do the waypoints and you can do add and we'll name this one I don't know just type in random stuff and you can change the color around a little bit whatever you want it to be if you want it to be a good hot purple color and it'll set a waypoint here so if I go ahead and exit the menu you can see that's where the waypoint will be and it'll continue to float there and you can see it on the map as well so that is a very nice feature that um, this mod adds and it just looks great too it doesn't look all like tacky or anything like that so let me go ahead and hop back in here and we can also do the key configurations so we have the menu key which is set as M and then the zoom which is Z and then a large map which is X and you can set the waypoint with C and there's all these other ones that you can set um, the keys for so if I want to enable I'll just do like T and then hit OK, exit menu, and hitting T will men um, disable and enable the minimap now. So that is how you do the key configurations. So that is the minimap, the uh, Reese minimap mod. Very useful mod. I like this mod a lot. So I now need to clear out my Minecraft jar. After I do that, I'll be back and I will show you how to install this mod. Okay, so what you need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program, such as WinRAR 7-Zip or WinZip. All these archiving programs will work relatively the same way, so you can use whatever you prefer. I'll be using WinRAR in this tutorial, and the only thing you're going to need to download is the Reese Minimap itself. So to download Reese Minimap, I'll go ahead and give you a link to this page in the description. So if we go ahead and scroll down to the download section, we have all the different versions, but we are doing the installation for Minecraft 1.2.5. So we're going to go ahead and click on the download link right underneath that, and this will take us over to an ad fly. It'll say, please wait five seconds up in the top right hand corner. After that five seconds is up, a yellow button saying skip ad will appear. And as soon as you click on skip ad, it will automatically download the mod. So that is how to download Reads Minimap. So when you're ready to install it, go ahead and come over to start. Then type in percent app data percent, just like this down here in the bottom left hand corner. Then go ahead and open up your roaming. Then open your dot Minecraft. Open your bin. Left click your Minecraft jar. Then right click it, and do open with, and select whatever archiving program you're using. I'm using WinRAR, so I'm go ahead and open it with WinRAR. Now you're not going to need your Minecraft bin open anymore, so you can go ahead and just close that. So once you have your Minecraft jar open, go ahead and open up Reads Minimap. Highlight these three files and drag them into your Minecraft jar and hit OK. Go ahead and close Reads Minimap. Now in your Minecraft jar, you should see a folder called MetaInf. If you do not see this folder, it's OK. You can go ahead and just skip this step. But if you do see it, what you want to do is delete it. So go ahead and left click it, then right click it. Select Delete Files, then hit Yes. And that will delete MetaInf. You want to make sure you're always deleting MetaInf when you're installing a mod to Minecraft. If you don't, it'll make Minecraft crash. So after you delete MetaInf, you can go ahead and close your Minecraft jar 
and that's it. You're done installing the mod. So it's a very simple installation. I hope this video helped you guys out. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.